Homeless shelters and resource centers, they are preparing to feed hundreds for Thanksgiving, making bigger meals than they've ever had to before. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. KCTV 5 Savannah Rudisell talked to them about how much the pandemic has increased the need for help with housing and food insecurity yeah. at all time highs. Uh, Savannah, what exactly did you find out this morning? Well, Joe and Gina here at Restart, staff tells me that their need for family shelters has tripled just in the past six months, and they just don't have the space for everybody. So Restart, like about a dozen other housing organizations here in Kansas City, applied for some emergency coronavirus grants. Now, city officials tell me they got about $7.9 million in requests and only had about $5 million to give out. That means Restart, one of the few housing options for families, received just 26% of its shelter funds requests. So without the money from the Emergency Solutions Grant, they had to reach out to donors. CEO tells me the community funds have been helpful, but they won't provide the expansion that they had hoped to make. It's still not going to come close. I mean, even if I can add, you know, increase my family rooms to 15 or 20, and there's 150 families that called. I'm still obviously not meeting that need. Um, but being able to essentially double, you know, what we have currently um, is, is going to have some level of impact. Boyer tells me that the city did not explain to her why her full request for the grant was not funded. So I reached out to the Department of Neighborhoods and Housing uh, Services and I found out for her. And we're going to let you know what they say about the difficulties of this kind of approval process coming up here just after 645. Reporting live in Kansas City, Savannah Rudisell, KCTV 5 News.